Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Nikipedia. I know I've kept you all waiting for long, but this video will totally be worth the wait. So today's video is going to be a tour of our bathroom. Before that, do take a look at my dressing table video in the link above. So as you enter, you have the hand wash area with generous amount of space on either side with a large square shaped mirror in front and two windows on either side and to the right we have the shower panel and the jacuzzi here when the bathroom was designed they made sure that there's enough ledge storage in the form of a granite slab next to the shower panel and around the jacuzzi so that it makes it very convenient to keep things and makes it very accessible too Under the hand wash area, we have wooden shelves for storage. This is a cute bamboo box that we found online. The links to all the products used in this video are mentioned in the description below. So in this box, we store all our essentials and it can be open like this. Here we store our face washes antiseptic, aftershave, makeup remover, cotton pads etc. And since it can be closed like this, it gives the entire space a very neat look. Moving on here, we have a face mirror which has two sides. One side is a normal mirror, the other side is a magnifying mirror. Here we have our toothbrush holder and soap dispenser. Here I've wrapped the hand wash towels and rolled them and kept it in a bamboo basket just to give it a very neat look. Here we have a very pretty money plant to add some greenery and color. And we have some more essentials here. And this is a very interesting component. This magnetic wooden board can be used to hold all your metal objects and makes it very convenient to take them use them and put it put them back so we've kept our nail cutter tweezer blackhead remover scissors and face mirror over here the links are again in the description below now let's take a look at the wooden storage down so here is the first shelf. This is where the dustbin is kept along with the cleaning liquids and the cleaning brushes. This product is used in cleaning the taps and to make sure they're sparkling all the time. This product is used to make sure your granite slabs and surfaces are shining and scratch free. This product is used to clean the ceramic surfaces of the wash basins. And this liquid as we all know is a multi-purpose cleaner which is generally used to clean most of the surfaces. I use it for the mirror. This microfiber cloth is used in general to clean the car surfaces to give them a scratch free look. But it's very useful in cleaning the home surfaces too so do give it a try. Moving on to the next shelf, this is a closed storage bag in which the fresh washed towels are kept. Here's the weighing machine and here are the hand wash refill sachets some detergent to wash the delicate clothes so in the first drawer we have all our body wash shampoo and conditioner refills so in the second drawer here we have the candles for our bathroom and the spare bathroom slippers
Moving on to the third shelf, here we have another 4 tire storage unit and a facial steamer which can also be used for steam inhalation which turned out to be very useful during these tough times. In the first drawer of our 4 tire organizer we have the hair dryer kept here along with a white tooth comb. In the second drawer we have all our mani pedi essentials. Here's the toe separator. The pumice stone and the scrubber. Some apple cider vinegar to soak our feet. And here's the pedicure and manicure kit along with some wax strips also kept here. And that's an anti-tan pack for the hands and feet. In the third drawer we have all our trimmers, a straightener, some blackhead strips and a face scrub and face pack. The fourth drawer is for all our refills, the extra toothbrushes, paste, soaps, shower caps, loafer and uh, we've also kept the earbuds over here. That's it with the storage. Moving on to the shower area, here we have a long granite slab that separates the shower area from the rest of the bathroom to make sure that the dry area is always segregated from the wet area. And these shower curtains are quite long and when you close them they form a nice beautiful enclosure. And this option is way better than having a glass cubicle because it's really difficult to maintain a glass enclosure. So as soon as you get out of the wet area in the shower, there's a bathroom mat, a thick bathroom mat that is kept that prevents the rest of the bathroom from getting wet. And now we come to the jacuzzi area. The jacuzzi has 32 back jets and 6 side jets. The knobs are over here. We have a separate hand wash dispen dispenser for the jacuzzi area. Here to the ledge, we've added some scented soaps, a vase with yellow flowers and some photo frames to just spruce up the entire jacuzzi wall. We have our TV here. This is a set of soaps and shampoos. And some shower gel and bubble bath exclusively for the jacuzzi area. We have the laundry basket over here and our bathroom slippers are kept over here. The towel rack here is situated equidistant from the jacuzzi area and the shower panel area making it very convenient to access. Now let's give you all a glimpse of how the bathroom looks in the night along with the romantic setup. Adding some essential oils to give a calm and soothing effect. Thank you for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it, 
See you again very soon with another video from Wikipedia. Bye bye.